kind of worked out this way where it's the week of firsts. Not the week of worst, you sick son of a bitch. The week of firsts. On Tuesday, we had our first ever KFC Famous Bowl. This is ridiculous. Oh my God. Did it, loved it, liked it. On Wednesday, I finally had sex with Corey. Nice. Did it, liked it, loved it. And on Thursday, which is today, we're gonna have a Baconator from Wendy's. The beef is always top notch. TBD, don't know how I feel yet. I'm assuming you've reacted one of two ways. One, how in the f did these two dumbasses never have a Baconator? That's hard to believe. Which, which would be a normal, be very yeah, that's how you should react. Very reasonable. The other people probably clicked off this video and up our bounce rate. Old bastards. Analytics. So come with us as we pop our bacony cherry all over this video and you. Disgusting. And a new episode of Number Six with Cheese. Let's do it. Any last words? How dare you? Interesting choice. How can I help you? Hi, can I have two baconators, please? Yes. No, thank you. Personal don't me, thank you. Yep. That was the most efficient thing. I love when people are just like, no pleasantries, just go. 13, 14 bucks? Did you get jerked off too? Couple of Baconators and an HJ, 14 bucks. That second hand better actually be a second hand. Disgusting. I'm gonna pull up the door to bring it right out. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I think if I had to get married to one oh, person I've never met, really mean. <laughs> I, it would be the Wendy social media manager. So. They don't have any Baconators? This They're making it fresh. All naked. This summary of this whole situation is making me feel real uncomfortable. Fresh, never frozen. Puerto de Libra de carne fresca. Somebody tweeted to Wendy's and went, McDonald's is better. And they went, yeah, freezing beef. <laughs> Someone tweeted at some like little Debbie or something like that and was like, oh, you're, wa you're a waste of life. You run a social media account. They go, dude, it's Saturday night and you're arguing with a cookie company. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes. No, you're good. Thank you. Do we have the uh, receipt? The receipt is not printed out because I'll Oh, um, is there a way to get them or no? A receipt? Two Baconators from Wendy's acquired jump cut. Don't they have like four cash, they got mm -hmm. two drive through cash registers and right. then like three or four up front, right? Like none of their printing machines are working. We had to wait like 10 minutes for Baconators. Yeah, this is all, we had to wait a long time. It was really weird ordering. And then they didn't have a receipt, and they're like, nah, we can't do receipts. Like, oh, uh, yeah, you can. At, like, at all? And they're like, nah. Nah, sorry. Like, all right. Well, okay. <laughs> Tell you what, Wendy kind of thinks she had it coming. Wow. <laughs> I love that about dad. I wish I could tell you exactly how much it was, but I have no idea. All right. So what is this all about? How many strips of bacon? Six strips of thick applewood smoked bacon, and Wendy's Baconator isn't just different, it's deliciously different. I see they did two here, and then they get some underneath too. They do top bacon and bottom bacon. Yeah, if you're gonna call something the Baconator. You gotta do multi-layers. It needs to be basically the Arnold Schwarzenegger of hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Pump up kids to, to exercise and train and to live healthy and to stay away from drugs and gangs and all this stuff. All right, so this bacon is not crispy at all. No. Is that kind of how they do it? It's not supposed to be crispy? Possibly. Only the best for the Baconator. Applewood smoked bacon on a half pound of fresh beef. Don't keep the Baconator waiting. I will say I don't ever expect great bacon from a fast food, so I don't really take off on that. You know, as somebody who doesn't like Burger King, I think Burger King's got great bacon. Try the new bacon cake with a half pound of beef and six strips of crispy bacon. Um, I like it a lot. Really? Yeah. I don't know if any bacon from a fast food place really sticks out to me. I can't I can't even recall uh, Burger King's bacon right now. Mm. Did you do Jump Cut? Acquired? Am I in a Twilight Zone episode? It's Acquired Jump Cut. The Twilight Zone. She never came back out with your receipt. Just no. Nah, I think she's just like, yeah, tough luck, tough titties. <laughs> Baconator, cheers. Mm, that is good. I do get a lot of bacon. I love the Wendy's beef. Oh yeah, hands down, best beef, right? Remember, Wendy, we make our hamburgers hot and juicy, and we'll always make them hot and juicy. Hot yeah, and juicy. I'm always back and forth between the flame grilled beef at Burger King. Like you know that Bacon King sandwich we keep having, and mm -hmm. every possible rendition they could do. It's truly the bacon king. The beef is always top notch, but Wendy's beef is the same way. You can't go wrong with There's it. There's just something about it. Although McDonald's is the king of everything, not of the beef. 
they fall behind on the beef, but they still it just taste so good, everything. I don't know, I don't know how they do it. That's gotta be such a bummer for Burger King to hear if they did ever see this video. You just called McDonald's the king. <laughs> it's like the right. one thing Burger King has is the royalty aspect, and you mm -hmm. took that away from them. Yeah, they don't deserve it. Man, I wish this bacon was crispier. It's still great tasting bacon. I'm just a crispy bacon guy. Oh, me too, all day. Like when I crunch into bacon, I want there to be that actual crunch. I don't want it to be looser than a piece of paper. Like, I love keeping my bacon on there extra long. Yeah, because it doesn't ruin the taste. It only enhances it. That crispness on a sandwich, that's what makes it great. Mm hmm And I will credit to Wendy's because despite this having that, it's still so good, the taste of it. This is super greasy. Yeah. I struggle with categorizing this. So this is their premier sandwich, right? Right, it's the Mac Daddy. <laughs> Guess see what I did there? Which I don't like that they consider this their main thing. Right. It feels to me like a total cheat move uh -huh. to put bacon on their main thing. Because otherwise this is just a double cheeseburger. Whopper doesn't have that, Big Mac doesn't have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it'd be hard to like compare the two because it's like, well yeah, you put bacon on it. <laughs> Duh. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's actually a really good point. I don't use your cheater. Maybe it's, I'm a little weirded out by that experience, but you're on my bad side, Wendy's. So this is the Wendy's at Western and Addison. Steer clear. Go to the one at Fullerton and Ashland. Yeah, that one's sweet. We always go there. We just went to this one because it was closer to what we were doing earlier. We've never had any uh, never had any issues there. Yeah. But hey, you know what? You win some, you lose some. And what we're losing is proper taxes. Yeah, right? We make a video five days a week. We write the food off because it's part of making the video. American tax system is so crazy. Mm -hmm. Need to see your papers. You know, we all pay taxes. Although you can miss one because it's not like yeah. every meal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So I guess this is okay. I am stuffed. I, I am so full right now. That was good though. I don't blame you. I gotta say though, slightly too greasy for me. It's uh really it's, greasy and also I, I'm just kind of let down. I feel like I never say something's too. I mean, I guess I do say things are too greasy, but you do. I didn't expect for their premier sandwich to be too greasy. What do you expect from a redhead? Better. I do expect better. Because you know me. Yeah. I expect I expect good editing. Oh wow. I expect no no comedic timing. Higher suicide rate from being your friend. <laughs> Living around constant put downs. I say I'm done and I just have to take more bites. How many days would you be kind of thrown off your normal being, Corey, mm -hmm. if you found out that I killed myself because of you? Zero. You the next day you'd just be fine? Mm -hmm. That same day? Wouldn't even have, wouldn't even shed a tear for you. I'm proud of you. That's hard to do. Savage. There's only probably like three people that if they died, I'd be even slightly affected by it. Most Nor, time, Nor McDonald. Say, Nor McDonald, <laughs> Billy Jean King, and Kesha. Ah! Cinnamon. Is that Kesha's other name? That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm under uh, I'm underwhelmed on that. For the first time of ever eating a Baconator, that just didn't feel right. I feel agitated. Yeah, I wish we would have gone to the Ashland one. If, like, I feel like I feel like we got a, there was like a disservice there to yeah, us. We got know? hosed. Oh, you guys are a couple of hosers there. I'm huh? going to the one a little claw further north. Out of five lost receipts. How many lost receipts do you give the Baconator from Wendy's? Bonus points if you can find a receipt from buying the DVD Lost. Dude, that's ridiculous. Man, <laughs> hey, don't put it past me. I will find one. Um, Cut to Sean, not man. being able to find one. Son of a bitch, I've been looking for an hour. You know what? Screw it. I'm using clip art. Screw it. Dude, so I'm comparing that relative to other signature burgers. Yeah. So compared basically to the Whopper and the Big Mac. Because, listen, we drove by Wendy's and there's a big flag flapping in the wind that says Baconator on it. You know, so that's, that's the thing. premier thing. Come see the show. I'm going to go with a 2.4. It was a little below average for how much I just fucking paid for that thing. Yeah. That whole damn experience was horrible. Nothing about that brought me any joy. I woke up today knowing we were filming this episode and was like excited. He did say that. And then this happened. And then this ended up being the story. Yeah. Sometimes you start a story and you think it's gonna be a good one and it ends up being a little bit of a sad story. That Baconator was sadder than the story you told about how you wouldn't be sad when I killed myself. Right, yeah, that was an uplifting story relative. Yeah. <laughs> 2.39. 2.39, yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, you went higher for some reason. Look, I still agree with you, you son of a bee. After Corey yells that iconic catchphrase, we will be opening two packages here on this video. Eat it, bitch, it's always good. Hello and welcome to another rendition of a thing we call We Got The Goods! Vastly more entertaining than eating sloppy bacon! Beef sticks? Oh, it is beef sticks! Beef sticks! Oh, hell yeah! Dude, a lot of different beef sticks. Venison, bro! I like ben uh, venison. Venison. This is pheasant. Alligator? What? 
I like trying new and interesting things. Hey, Sean and Corey, I wanted to send you guys this for Christmas. Hope you both have a wonderful holiday. Thanks for a great year on your channel. Love supporting you guys. Merry Christmas, Robert M. Robert M. Robert M's the dude, man. I will say, if there was hanging a jersey in the rafters for 2017, Robert's Robert would be first. M. He'd be wearing yeah. that 23. Dude, I'm super down. I like really like this. So. He's sent us the most stuff is what I was getting at. He's put in the most points. Elk. I've had elk before. Look at all this. Yeah, you're right. There's Look at all these, by the way. Dude, wild boar. Or I, I just like trying new things. Dude, this might be its own mukbang. Maple duck. Yeah, Beef we should. Beef stick mukbang. Ostrich buffalo. I've had buffalo Maple before. Oh, maple duck. What is that? That's the ostrich? Beef and buffalo sticky spicy pepper. Ooh, Kangaroo. Right? Feels like maybe a book or something. Oh, no. This is what we're going to send our shirts in. It's a bunch oh, of these. Oh, cool. A bunch of these. There were 10 bucks for 100 of them. So and yeah, if you're uh, buying a shirt, you're going to see. You're going to come in this. You're going to see some packaging. Speaking of that, we yeah, you guys know. We got shirts. Check it out. Number six with dot com. Send it, bitch. It's always good. I'm not gonna let you do my catchphrase anymore if you're gonna run. <laughs> Still just mad. Just bummed out. I wanted it to be better. How is a baconator not good? I I'm gonna lose sleep over this tonight.